Welcome back to another race breakdown. I am Kevin Selly, and today we're going to be looking at the 800 from the Ostrava Continental Tour meet, which featured Emmanuel Wagnoni, just 17 years old, getting the victory and making himself perhaps the favorite for the world championships. Let's take a look at this race. It was an extremely crowded field. All the agents did a great work getting their athletes into this race. We end up with 15 runners in an 800. Now you're probably thinking, what can go wrong with 15 runners in an 800? And this is the answer. Watch as they make the break here. We're gonna have a chain reaction on this side of the screen, which ends with Max Bergen getting bumped. Boom, 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 right there with Bergen getting an elbow. Now luckily, nobody fell, but you can see right here, everybody jockeying for position. And the end result is Bergen stays on his feet and it kind of pushes him to the front, and he probably is thinking, well, I'm just going to get out of traffic. I'm going to get right behind the rabbit. But look at how many men are in this race. you got some new names in there mixed with some old. You see Nigel Amos in the orange moving into third place. As I mentioned, Wanyoni's in there. Noah Cabet, who won the Doha Diamond League, is in the race. And then keep an eye here on Mula, Slamani Mula of Algeria. He's got... Mismatching top here. I don't know if it was a travel issue, laundry day. Hey, we've all been there. But he's got one half the kit for the top and then the other half for the bottom. You're going to keep an eye on him the second half this race. He's been running really well. The 800 this year has not been that quick. Some of the traditional names have not run as fast, which means it's completely wide open. This ends up being the best 800 that we've seen this year, the deepest at least. They go through 400 sub 50 and a big pack behind. And... That's different than what we've seen so far. We've seen a lot of people either not following the pacemaker or the pacemaker going out at a slower pace. And you have Mula moving basically to the outside, running this whole second lap in lane two, at least that section of the, this lap in lane two. Wanyoni now moving up to the outside as Bergen takes over ahead of Amos. I mean, look at how strong out there. And then you can just see, so there's Wanyoni right there moving up into sixth place again just 17 years old he's the reigning junior champion this is his first race outside of kenya first time mixing it up against top level competition outside of kenya and we're in for a treat the last 150 meters so many men in this race so evenly matched that this is going to be a battle all the way to the finish line Kabet, they're moving up on the outside trying to go past he's pretty good in tactical settings but then if you take a look here, here's Wanyoni, here's Mula. These guys are going to end up going 1-2. Watch the move they make to get around Bergen and get around Amos and Kabet at the front of this pack. Wanyoni is out into three, and Mula goes even farther out to try to get past him, and they're going to fight all the way to the line. It looks like Mula's got it. Almost leans too soon there as Emmanuel Wanyoni gets the victory in 144 low. A big race for him. He won the Continental Tour in Nairobi earlier this year. Now runs 144.15.04 ahead of Mula Bergen in third place, 144.54. I want to take a look at that last push over the finish line because, again, I thought that Mula might actually have it. Start here first with Bergen and Amos. But watch this. It almost looks as if Mula starts to lean right here. And then his body kind of comes back the other way. Right at the line. Because right here, dead even or maybe even a bit ahead. But then look at that. He almost has to pull up and pull back because he's already leaned. Whereas Wanyoni is leaning at the exact right time. And you can just see it there. One guy's momentum is going forward. The other guy's momentum is going backwards. And the end result is in a victory for Emmanuel Wagnoni. This was the deepest 800 this year. It wasn't the fastest, but it had a lot of guys sub 145, which for this year is a big deal. And we could be looking at the next best guy here in Emmanuel Wagnoni. Behind him, though, Noah Cabet, he's a teenager as well, too. He doesn't have much experience. He could be someone to watch moving forward. So without the big names putting out the big times early in the season, this men's 800 has been left wide open, and we could be talking about Wanyoni for the rest of the season and perhaps beyond after on that 
five. Well, that's it for this race breakdown. Make sure you subscribe to the Flow Track YouTube page for more. We'll talk to you guys next time.